Bay Metal, we have a voting for Battle of the Songs, right? Um, Champ is going to go ahead and tell you guys how that works and how that goes down. And you should be yeah. seeing the Discord link popping up in the chat periodically. Join the Discord if you want to vote on your favorite Bay Metal song. Um, go ahead, Champ. Take it away. Yeah, so I, I guess you, most of you probably remember when we did this band made uh, a few months back. It was pretty fun with a lot of votes in there. And uh, it was just like interesting to see what people were voting for, you know? So we're doing it again and we're doing it with Baby Metal. Uh, the challenge brackets have been up for a couple of weeks. So we gave you guys time to get your predictions in. Uh, but a few days ago, we actually started voting on the first round. Uh, and that is going to be going on until uh, next Saturday. So if you want to get your votes and go over to our Discord, um, it's over on the Gaijin Guys Podcast Discord, and you click on the Battle of the Songs under Gaijin Guys Podcast, and that's where you can click on whatever what you want to vote for for the first round. And I'm just real quick going to read the uh, message that our uh, our man Pubes has set up for us over here. So here we go. Commencement announcement for the Battle of the Songs. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to a fully new, totally awesome Battle of the Songs. Last time we had bandmates fighting for their best song interesting battles through and through awesome to follow great fun this time we have as you can see already in the previous description baby metal fighting for their best song you guys know me as pubes and i will be yet again your host for this tournament thanks champ i don't know if he's saying that sarcastically or not it's sarcasm <laughs> you, you, you had two weeks to send in your predictions on who will win the battles predictions are now closed as the battle begins the rules are simple we have two songs fighting each other you guys can determine the winner by reacting to the given emote and whichever song has the mo has more votes will advance to the next stage due to christmas new year's time battle will remain until january 7th so that's next weekend so that's how uh that's how far <laughs> yes that's pure sarcasm pube says um <laughs> and so without much more wall of intro text let the battle Battles begin. And if you scroll down, you can see that the voting has already begun. I'm very upset that the Unikitty theme song is not beating out song Dude, number four. I can't believe you fought oh, for God. that to be on there. <laughs> I fought for it. I fought for it and I fought for it. And everybody was like, take that off. It's not a real song. And I was like, no, it's fucking awesome. It's 24 <laughs> seconds of awesomeness and it's got to be on there. All right. You uh, know what? You convinced me I'll vote for that. Okay, fine. I do. Yes. Oh, you, I can vote twice. I can vote for both. <laughs> How do we get here? I won't do that. I won't do that. By the way, the Discord link is in the description of the this video, and it is popping up in the uh, chat periodically um, if you guys do want to vote. So this is what it's looking like right now. I think this closes in the next couple days. So Tales of Destiny is winning. Oogie Oogie Midnight is winning. Um, BM oh, Shine is winning. Some of these I like already know. This one, uh. um, Catch Me If You Can is winning. Uh, Elevator Girl and Metataro is winning. Tied, which is shocking. I thought Elevator. I love Elevator Girl. I hope Elevator I know. Girl pulls it out. It's such a. Uh, would you say it's underrated song? I don't know. Yes, I love that. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's like not one of the ones that people go, "Hey, go check out uh, Baby Metal." It's got to listen to Elevator Girl. I never hear people say that. I but didn't. it's an awesome song. <laughs> I didn't expect a tie between Elevator Girl and Metataro, though. I thought it would like landslide beat that one. Um, ENA makes oh, sense. Neck and neck. Um, right, right out the gate, and then we got uh, Sis Anger winning right now over Amore, which is kind of shocking to me. Um, the one, of course, that one's winning. Papa Yah versus Future Metal. I didn't know this many people like Papa Yah. It's one of my least favorite baby metal songs. I mean, it is my least favorite baby metal song. It's, one, it's sure. one I like actually. Papa Yah. <laughs> exactly what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I don't know. Is, is it the one that they say Papa Yah yeah, 432 yes, times? Yes, that's, yes. That's the one. <laughs> that's the one. It's a new <laughs> word. Say it at the end of every phrase. Pop, 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 yeah. Very agitated. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll read. One. We'll read your guys' super chats in just a moment. Um, and then we have Divine Attack versus Gimme Chocolate, and Gimme Chocolate is winning. How, what? What are the, What's the score over there right now? I was curious about this one. B Metal Death and Night Night. Oh, what's the score? It's fourteen to eight. So okay, so it's 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 winning by a decent margin right now. Why I'm kind of surprised. Monochrome not on here. It, it will be. This is just the first round, and and since we did uh, like all forty four songs uh, instead of just thirty two, the brackets we don't line up exactly. So this first round is almost like a preliminary round. Because we could have took a, we could have took away your thirty second one and put the 
fucking we cut it. <laughs> no, 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 we cut it. It was not an option. So this is you my need, damn tournament. So you're Arr. saying you're saying if we do maximum the hormone, we have to put in their minute and thirty second songs. Got it. No, uh, that's, uh, 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 <laughs> well, that's like three songs in one. But yeah, kinda. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. apparently I mean, those songs were good enough to release. make them in the top, top ten bands of all of 2022. So they I, gotta be. Included. Yeah, yeah. For fuck's sake, um, <laughs> the battle twelve, baby metal death, and night night burn. This one is a close one. And Baby Metal Death to me feels more of like an intro song. So it was interesting to see those neck and neck. I thought Night Night Burn would like take it. But if you guys want to make uh, the thing that I'm most curious about this one is to see like where specifically Gimme Chocolate and Karate fall onto this. Because those are like two of the songs I feel like made Baby Metal famous. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people know those songs, but I don't think that they're Baby Metal's best songs necessarily. So I'm curious, like how how far does that popularity take you in, yeah. a, in a contest like this? I love karate too. Let's, karate's great. It's better than Gimme Chocolate, I think. Let's read the Super Chats because they're actually um, within topic of this. So Rock and Roll says, so I do really like baby metal, but I got to say the total disassociation from the musicians is a pretty big turnoff. That it seems like has become more and more. My opinion on this real quick, I don't care. If the music sounds good, it fucking sounds good and I'll listen to it. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. to me. So, so uh, then I, I, I more would... and more. Is it changed? I mean, we haven't really heard shit from them as far as what the relationship between the musicians and the, and I guess you're talking about you or uh, you metal. And, well, I agree with this because, uh, like, for the live shows, they show the the musicians like once every ten minutes. You know, like you don't really get to see them playing the music. Not for baby metal. Baby Metal, they stage. highlight the band members live. Mm. It's less so on the music that. videos, honestly. Oh, the you're talking about the music videos? Yeah, the oh, music okay. videos, they don't. Yeah, but oh, live, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right. Yeah, yeah. Like right. The, the live show, the band's out there, but during the music videos, it is pretty but much uh, heavily predicated on Does that make you like the change? Song. But does that make you like the songs less? I I That's the part well, where I Well, if you listen to music to watch, like, really cool musicians play cool stuff, like... You know, everyone you has different have to reasons with, for listening like, to music. Get over that to just appreciate how it sounds together. Like, is because that that bug that bothered me initially with the mm. band. Yeah, with, I could get that, and I could see that. Like, that's it. I guess that would be an issue for anybody that that listens to all idol music in general. I don't, I don't right? think it's becoming more and more. Um, maybe for me, I might be biased because I saw live first over music videos. Because yeah. my first song was Road of Resistance, so I saw musicians highlighted, and I remember in that reaction mentioning, I'm like, I love the fact that they show off the backing band. Like, they're not just thrown away. Because you know with the other, like, True. the other groups, they put the the girls Pass in front. Code. Like, Pasco, you don't know anything about the members. Like, with Baby Metal, you know their names, you know the different lineups, and they're highlighted. It, like, so for me, I think it's way more involved than other groups where they hide the musicians. Like, mm. for example, Passcode, where we don't know anything about the backing bands. I mean, of yeah. course, if we do some digging, maybe we will. Maybe the Bay Metal fans really make sure that the musicians are recognized. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's that, too. I don't know. I think it's very much up to personal taste in this area. I think it's never bothered me. That type of thing has never bothered me at all. I mean, like, you know... I as you guys know, I watch K-pop videos where it's like, I know that the people that are performing the music, mostly uh, they're, they have producers, they have this whole team behind them that are putting this whole thing together. And I think I just consider like, even the people that we're not seeing at the forefront to be just like this one big team that's creating this, this, this performance, this music. So uh, it doesn't really bother me if I don't see the instruments being played. I well, think most of the time. It seems people don't seem to realize that comedy band isn't a part of the studio band. They don't play their studio stuff. It was it was to to perform exactly. them live. Yeah, it wasn't a comedy band that. to not show in the videos because it wasn't a thing. It was just. It's the reason why fans say the live performances are always. That's why they're always so much better because it's the yeah. that performance. Um, Radio Rafa says, "Alan, those are all videos before 2018. No, 2021. We had the musicians showing off. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. I I get what you're saying because." I guess you're right because with passcode, I'm definitely disassociated a little bit more. 
I don't see the musicians and stuff. Yeah, you mentioned that yeah. in the uh, the review that we did on GG. So, like I said, I could be a little bit biased. Like I said, I started off with concerts first, and then I kept watching concerts and concerts way more than the music video. If I'm going to watch a Bay Metal song, it's mainly the concerts. Now, when I'm in my car, I listen to the album versions. I wish I had the live versions because the solos, like with Mikio on our badass, but to each their own. It also uh, depends on where you started, right? Because like, if you did listen to like, let's say, "Give Me Chocolate" first, where they don't feature the band like at all in the vi- in the music video, right? But because what did people ask you to react to first? If the first thing you watched was "Road of Resistance" live, yeah. you're not you're paying attention to the fucking band back there, bro, because <laughs> yeah. they are going ham the whole time, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, but if you watch the let's say "Give Me Chocolate" video first, you might be like, okay, like this is like I don't even know if there is a band behind this, right? Yeah, it's 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 a preference thing, dude. Because without, even though the you know there's a composition that that band's performing, they they have their own their own quirks to it. But uh, you know, if the song's great when it's performed live, I mean it's a composition that's that's great, and yeah. it was there before the band played it. Yep. Yeah. So I don't fucking know, man. It's just yeah. it was something I had to get over when listening to him because it was anybody that watched my old videos with them knows I'm like ah you know what's going on like it was just a different thing, and like I said now I don't I don't really give a fuck. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. And then same. All right. Well, uh, last oh, it super looks chat like we here. missed a super chat here. Yeah. No, I didn't miss it. I just wanted to make sure I read the other one off, but for okay. some reason I can't find it anymore. I was gonna read it right now. Um, do you, can you guys see it still? Because when I look at um, yeah, from Rod, yeah, from yeah. Rod, yeah, it says Love Bite should be on that list because they auditioned for a new basis amongst their fan base for the top ten one. I don't agree because yeah. there was no song released, but that's just me. yeah. I mean, if they had come out with a song before, like you know, a couple days ago, then then maybe like if they if that uh, if that what was the name of the song Judgment Day? If Judgment Day had come out in like July or something, I think they would have been already gotten a lot more. Uh, <laughs> A lot more momentum yeah. on that, you yeah. know. I think they'll be on the they'll be on twenty twenty three. I want to put a pass, put a pass at it all. I mean, that song's great. Yeah, definitely. And I expect well, they're going to come out with a new album in February. <laughs> yeah. so we're yeah. all going to be all over that shit. I'm going to laugh if it comes out on February thirteenth, the anniversary day of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that that would be oh, pretty. I love it, man. That'd be great. Yes, I'm cleaning my keyboard with a sock. So while I continue to clean this, go ahead and check out. Uh, another clip right here if you enjoyed that last clip or check out the full podcast to this right here see you later